All right, welcome back. So I'm gonna quickly show you the importance of using the proper media, using this um, digital true flow by Minneapolis. So this here is a 14 by 25, one inch permanent split capacitor motor. So I'll show you something pretty crazy. Filters in. As you see, we've got our um, static pressure on the supply plenum. That's our pressure, just our ballooning pressure on that plenum. And what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to go ahead and check amps. This is for the newer techs out here. Let's go to furnace, upflow, cooling capacity, type that in, some four ton, filter location, cabinet. I'm going to do 425. I'll show that again. Okay, so I've got my supply, static pressure, being measured. I'm going to take that. So I've done, I've got some pieces of, um, uh, just an old yard sign I cut up. I'm going to use this. I don't have a 14 by 25 slot, so. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, remove the filter. I want you to see as well what happens when I remove this filter. I'm going to illustrate a couple points here. The airflow, why it's so important. I mean, don't get me wrong, you're saving energy in this case, but if this was an ECM motor, you'd have the opposite effect. So you can see we got almost 8 amps, 7.8 amps. So we're drawing higher amps because that motor is actually moving more air. If you stop the airflow, the motor is essentially moving less mass. So it's moving less, having less load on the um, windings. So let's go ahead and Get our true flow in. Oh crap. Screwing that up. Push that in like such. All the way to here. Thousand forty four, continue. Okay, still low airflow. See, take all this out. Okay, so let's get that out of there. Same process, measure, system airflow, furnace, outflow, four ton, air filter location slot, climate 425. So now, take measurement, got no filter in. Continue, start shoot flow. Gaskets can compromise pretty much. Yeah. 
just get it. Look at that difference. Take measurement. We're showing 1559. Basically 300 CFM we lost. So yeah, it's actually 500 CFM difference. For some reason I had uh, 1200 stuck in my head as the original baseline. But it was actually 1040 CFM that we captured with the filter and without the filter it's 1540, so. And if you wanna know what um, a 300 CFM pressure drop looks like, all I will do. Check our pressure drop across the filter. As you can see, it's a 0.8 drop, so that's almost double what your total static speed. That's just across the filter itself, 0.8. So that's how you're able to lose 300 CFM. So what you have here is an undersized filter cabinet. You see all these runs running in here, just for a one-inch filter. So what I would do, honestly, is probably add a, because this is a four-ton system, so I'd probably add a media cabinet on each side, another return plenum and then go across. I'd do two 20 by 25 media cabinets um, and basically take some of these return runs, put them on this side, and that should um, get your airflow back to normal. But yeah, this is just, I uh, thought this might be interesting for you guys to see putting this true flow grid to work again. I mean, it's not rocket science, but it's pretty cool. Um, pretty cool as you can quantify these things with real metrics, real numbers, and, uh, you know, put proof to paper for the customer. So, once again, no sales. I'm not sales. They didn't give me this unit. Uh, this one isn't sponsored, but I just love tools, as I said from the beginning when starting this channel. And, you know, I love uh, technology in this industry, so hence the name. But, yeah, other than that, uh, pretty much it for today sorry I'm whispering but got a customer pretty much right downstairs so just trying to keep it cool but yeah like I say let me know what you think and we'll catch you on the next one thanks for watching